What's the difference between these and these? White box prototype 2019 Titleist golf balls. Let's do it and let's do it now. Now there's nothing more exciting for Titleist fans than when the white boxers come out on tour and we see them on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. But how do this year's compare to the current Pro V1? I'm going to hit some shots, we're out here at Huddersfield Golf Club, I'm going to play a better ball, I'm going to play both balls, the 2018 Pro V1 and the 2019 Prototype ball. I'm going to see if one's longer, if one's softer, what the difference is, they're both white, they're both round. This is going to be interesting. I fit two shots there on the eighth hole, par three. I've pulled them both. Let's go up there and see where they were. I'm all right playing the best ball. They were both pretty similar. So guys, you'll know that if you watch my channel a lot, I like to give back. I like to give back to subscribers. I like to give back to you guys. And this video is no different. At the end of this video, I'm going to give away this sleeve of three, well, hopefully three if I don't lose them all, 2019 prototype balls. All you have to do, you have to be a subscriber. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have to comment below proto, P-R-O-T-O, -O, proto. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. If I do lose some in the course of this video, I'll fill them up with Pro V1s for you. Now let's go and see where they are. Both pretty much as bad as each other there. And that is going to be a struggle for par. with the prototype, bogey with the Pro V1. That must mean the prototype is 10 shoulders above the Pro V1, right? Or maybe I just learned the read from the putt. Let's go and hit some drivers on the next tee. And it does make me wonder, when we keep changing the best ball in golf for a long time, let's admit it, what can we keep changing? What can we keep improving? Is next year going to go further? Is it going to go a lot further? Is it going to be softer? Is it going to spin a lot more around the greens? Who knows? Let's see if we can get two nice drives away. I'm going to go Pro V1 first, then 2019 prototype. This hole's wide open. Let's open the shoulders up a bit, shall we? a decent hit with a Pro V1. Let's see if we can get the same with the Prototype 2019 ball. This is going to be good. One down the right side, one down the left side, both on the short stuff and both absolutely smashed. Let's go see where they are. Now if you are a regular viewer to my channel and you are a subscriber, first of all, Thank you very much. And second of all, you may have noticed I've got a few new things. I've got a new bag, I've got new clubs, new irons. The drivers stayed the same, new wedges. <laughs> Pretty much everything's new, even the putter. You may have noticed on that last green, I've got the new Ping Sigma 2 Fetch putter in play. I have done a review on that and it is on my channel now. I couldn't tell you about it until now because it was under strict embargo. You may notice some new clothes as well. More of that to come, hopefully. Into a slight breeze, just got down here. We've got the ball down the left side here. And I'm guessing this is the Pro V1, if I remember from the shots. Absolutely is. Which means the ball down the right side, which is... A couple of yards further forward, it would have taken a better bounce, couldn't it? Must be the prototype. Let's have a look. 
Absolutely is a prototype, a couple of yards further, but like I said, it could depend on the bounce, couldn't it? Let's play them both in from here and see what the irons feel like again. Now that's an interesting one. Both shots felt okay. The first one felt a touch heavy, as you can probably tell from the sound. But they're both on the green, they're both dancing. I wouldn't class either as a birdie opportunity. I'm gonna get down there, I'm gonna throw out a couple of balls from each sleeve, have a chip around, see if I can tell a bit of a difference between the Pro V1 and the prototype. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but I would hope I could. Do you guys think you'd be able to tell a difference? Comment below. A bunch of pretty good chips there, they're all fairly close. Did I find that one spun more than the other? Did I find that one just magically jumped in the hole? Sadly not, but at the end of the day, if Titleist can keep producing golf balls at the quality they are doing, even if they just tread water, that's gonna be a bonus, isn't it? The new ball, does it feel softer? It's hard to tell with such a short space of time. I wish I had more time to test these on a launch monitor and things like that, but I'm not sending them up on the range just to get lost. I want to give them to you guys at home. Let's play one more hole. I'm gonna hit a bunch of shots with each of them and see if I can tell a bit of a difference. Any Team Titleist members out there that have been sent some of these prototype balls, comment below, let me know what you think. Have you found a difference? Have they magically reinvigorated your game? Or are they just like a normal, pretty good Pro V1? And I know a few people watching this will be taking the bat home and won't be happy that I'm not testing these on a launch monitor, but, I'm testing it where it counts. I'm testing it where you guys are going to be playing. Maybe not here at Huddersfield Golf Club, but on a golf course. This is what it's all about. It's all about testing things out in the field. Not just dry ball data. These balls are wet anyway. It's too dewy for that. Now you see there, their two drives pretty much as good as I can hit. One favouring one side of the fairway, one favouring the other. I'm not going to be that accurate, I'm not a machine. If you're wanting a complete and utterly comprehensive review, testing these two golf balls, you need to find a machine, and I'm not one. Even on a launch monitor, we're going to hit bad shots, we're going to hit good shots, and you're not going to be able to tell that much of a difference. Unless this thing really is as revolutionary as what some people may think. Let's go and find them and round up. I must say though, one thing that I do really enjoy about Titleist and when they release golf balls is they release them pre-release and it's very clever. It's clever marketing to put them in the hands of you guys, to put them in the hands of me, to put them in the hands of reviewers, but also team Titleist members. I'm aware that a lot of mid-handicap players have been sent these golf balls to test them right back. Imagine that coming through the door. If you're a mid-handicap golfer, you've got all Titleist golf clubs, you love Titleist as a brand, you like Scott Cameron, you like Vokies, and they're sending you prototype golf balls. Prototype. That's a word that sends chills down some people's spine, doesn't it? Prototype. If something's gonna be expensive, they'll put the word prototype on it. So Titleist, hats off to you to that. Very clever. I was a little bit scared there walking up, but we are downwind and the tee was forward a little bit. We've got one ball here in the bunker and we've got one just past the bunker here and I think this is the prototype. It is. So with that, both times I've hit driver, the prototype has produced a better result than the Pro V1. I think that's gotta be luck though, hasn't it? Or has it? 
you guys decide. I'm going to play a couple of shots out of this bunker and then we're going to round up. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm James Robinson. I'm here at Huddersfield Golf Club. I've been testing the brand new Titleist 2019 prototype ball for you. And if you want to go away with these golf balls, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment below proto. And I'm even going to throw in a sleeve of Proovy ones for you so you can do the test for me. All I want you to do after that is tweet me at James underscore Robbo underscore PGA and let me know what you think. See you soon.